do you know why you think every woman is a gold digger? It's because you don't really understand how women function. No matter how wealthy a woman is, your money is important in her life. If you cannot take care of that woman, zip up and leave her alone for someone else that can take care of her. Every woman is wired to collect. Listen, I've been to 56 countries in my life. No woman wants to work. Forget that story. Women only work because of the insecurity and dignity of men. Because if a woman is not working now, you are the same person that will say, you are lazy, you are a liability. I don't want a liability. The way God created it, no woman is supposed to work. Every woman is supposed to be taken care of. The Bible says he that cannot feed his family is worse than an infant. I don't know who the Bible most of you read. You are not a man because you have something dangling between your legs or because you're a champion on the bed. You're a man because you can take care of your woman. You're a man because you can protect your woman. You're a man because anything your woman needs, you can provide. If you have not gotten to that point, my brother, you are not a man. You're a chicken. I know you will not like this video and I really don't care. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okosa. If you can't take care of that woman, go and find your size. If you don't get it, then forget about it. I just want to relax. I'll be taken care of. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the clergyman, Emmanuel Okose, has said that any man who cannot cater to the needs of a woman, see the way we are smiling today. <laughs> Maybe. You better leave him, eh? leave her alone. Now, in the video that we just played, um, okay, so formerly known as Soul E, I think, said women are not wired to work. He further stated that he has traveled to so many countries and has n come to understand that women do not like to work but want to be taken care of. He stated that no matter how wealthy a woman is, she still um, wants the money of a man. So tonight we're asking, Biko, is what this man, is he saying the truth? Are women wired to collect and not work? Eh? Please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0803466. So you can also tweet at us at Wish Africa with the hashtag Wish Show. Let me introduce Uti Elu back in the building. Even though we did it. <laughs> Uti, it's like you came prepared for hello. us today. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, Uti. So, I mean, who, who do I start with in this Uti. conversation? <laughs> no, you, you, you. It's you that I want to start with. Because all this soft life, life that you're talking about, you're talking about sharing bees. I don't understand. How does it correlate? But in fairness, yeah. If they left me, you won't work. Say there's just money somewhere to be spending. I no go work. I no go lie. And work. and I, and I think that that's, that is um. I, do men like working? I do don't understand do the they... concept of you asking about the man. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm the, 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 the the angle at which you are going <laughs> is already off for me. Like how? What what, what has? What, how does that question factor into the this topic conversation? The is, are women wired to collect mm. and not work? How does men now come into that statement? When you because say that men like working? Would, no, um, Ola said that she would, truly and truly, she would like if there's money somewhere. Mm. And I know said that. I think everybody, if there's money somewhere, will sit down. You see, this, you see what you're doing now? Eh? This is that thing where... We start to talk about gender equality and then men no. wake up and say men's lives matter. Please, can we stay on topic? Men's lives matter. <laughs> can we stay on topic? Men's lives matter. Nobody says men's life doesn't matter, mm -hmm. but for the amount of time that the female gender has suffered, I'm sorry, men can hold on. So women, so, so women should not work. I'm not saying women should not work. Uh -huh. That's not the, uh, the question. The way I'm tackling you uh -huh. is when you said, so do men like to work? Is that's not still a topic? Because that's in relation it's to not. the fact that if there's money available, man or male or female, well, maybe nobody will work. Nobody will stay on you. topic. I I, there's no getting her there. Well, I'm sorry. There isn't. I also get her. No, you she can't get, get her. Me. No, you cannot. But you don't get me. I can't get you. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't get you. Because... You are trying to stray off topic. What will no. then happen is that the men will then Come. say that, yes, we, excuse me, excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay. Eh, I don't agree with everything the pastor has said in the sense that when he says women don't want to work. There has been a cultural shift. If we look at historically, yeah. back in the day, women didn't work. 
Women stayed at home, they looked after the kids, they sorted all of that stuff out. The man was the breadwinner, he went out, he brought the money. Whether the man was a drunkard, whether he spent all the money, whether he did anything stupid, the woman was at his mercy. So, women realized, you know what, this is not really working for us because not every man was a good man. Mm -hmm. If you're married to a drunkard and he spends all his money before he gets home, you and your kids are going to starve. So women start to realize, actually, you know what, I want a voice, I want to sit at a table, I want to be able to look after my family. And they went and fought for the right to work. Now, this is where I tell people, like I tell people all the time, I'm not a feminist because feminism has become a noose around our necks. Right? So you have women who did it because it was necessary within the context of who they were and the position they had within society, the family construct, and all of those things. Right? Now, as time went on, men knew their roles. And I know people will come for me and say, oh, there's no gender, da, 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 da. it's OK. We all have different opinions. Everybody will be just fine. But the fact is, right? Think about it. Think about your parents. Think about where the shift started to happen. All of a sudden, women were doing great. They were making their own money. And I totally agree that a woman should make her own money, by the way, so that it doesn't sound like I think that women shouldn't work. I totally believe that women should make their own money because your husband can drop dead tomorrow. Well, my money is my money. It's, I'm not even coming to the point of my money is my money. Hold on first now. <laughs> women should make money. Why, right? There are multiple ways to make money. What I don't like about feminism is where women have got to the point where they start saying things like, if I don't work, I'll be sick. Mm. You don't like to enjoy life? <laughs> I mean, come on now. You can't read a book. You can't watch a movie. You can't learn you something. You can't, I mean, you can't even me take a course milk like and, and learn something new. See. Then you say that I must work. Uh, hold on. You say that I must work. If you want to work, everybody to their own lane. If you say you are going to fall sick because you don't work, I wish you were the best in life. That means clearly the good things of life have not hit you. That's why you feel like work is the thing that you must aspire to. I really love that meme that says, what is it? I don't aspire to work. <laughs> yes. But the truth of it is, we all work. We are all smart, capable women. In fact, if you take it back to, for those that are Christians, if you take it back to the almighty Proverbs 31, there is business inside that conversation. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing that says that women don't want to work. It is a difference between my working now being an expected part mm. of the equation. Mm -hmm. So I saw this shift when guys used to go from, I will pay the rent, to I'm now looking for a girl that can, can, share. can share the rent with me or can share the bills. I remember one time I went, I went to America to see my cousin. And then they had a business, him and his wife. And they had divided in such a way that this week it was a bakery. This week, all the others that come in, he will bake. The week he's baking, he will buy all the materials. Then all the profit from that week is his. Then the following week when she's baking, I mean, my brain just couldn't wrap around it. I'm like, why don't you just have separate businesses? And let's call it a day. Then you're not talking about who is paying this, who is paying that. I might as well stay by myself. What's the point, hmm. right? But, but there was something he said, right? He says, you're not a man if you cannot provide. And I want to come to Norma, right? I mean, because we've heard these things um, in different quarters. Ibuku and Oshika, I remember there was one famous um, speech that she mm -hmm. had given I that remember. talked about, you know, that we cannot be saying that a man is not a man because he's unable to provide. You know, those are also part of the pressures that we have put on men, right? That makes it look like if a man cannot provide, because he but used that... But we didn't that, put the pressure on them, though. Because he used that quote that says he's worse than an infidel. That's not how the Bible... Do you understand? But let me come to you, Norma. Let me hear your thoughts Sorry, on sorry this. Norma, just a second. Yes. The man... Yeah. See, male egos are fragile. When they can't provide, it has nothing to do with you and I. They're going to be grumpy anyway. Mm, okay. But so it is all on them. Uh. It is all on them. <laughs> Norma Fanga. Let me hear your thoughts. <laughs> are women wired to collect? If you leave me... You see those Cleopatra days when you say you just soak inside goat milk. No, but no. Your Look, only I've, job is to look beautiful. Checked, I've checked my life. I was meant for the soft life. Like, I agree. Those, those pamper me, take me to the spa. Let me not be seeing sun. I agree. You will not see. The beauty you will be seeing, I'll oh, be wow. glowing. <laughs> I will be glowing. So why are you working? I don't understand. I need to see. Why my panga. She's been cultured to work. Ah. No, but let me hear your thoughts on this. Are women wired to collect or to uh, and not work? Do you agree with the pastor? 
I, I, I think I have a, a, a problem with the choice of words yeah. mm -hmm. because I don't understand what collect means. Collect, Is it collect that you now. Make? No, I, I don't understand. It's receive, Sorry. receive. Let's change it to receive. I, <laughs> Is it receiving yeah, love? Is it receiving money love? Is it money? Collect money, collect love, collect care, collect submission. Oh, collect, 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 I'm collect. I'm wondering who is not. I mean, everybody's... Uh, uh, for me, the, I think the perspective I want to tackle it from is the perspective of women being wholesome. When we were created, we were created complete. So whether you are working, whether you are collecting, all now collect and work. You, you, we have capacity to be able to collect. We have capacity to be able to work yeah. as individuals and in a team effort where we have capacity to help, we have capacity to receive as well. So uh, the for me, it, it sounds... I don't know, but it sounds a little bit detrimental to women to say that everything about a woman no, or that women. I don't are have a problem. Way, people are calling me that I'm here to collect. No, no, no. Yes. So, so I think yes, I agree yes. with Norma now. I mean, Somebody has to disagree. I don't agree I, with everything you said, and that's it, what she said. I find it almost insulting to say that women are wired to collect. Because really, and I, I will probably agree with Mary in that regard, everybody's made to collect, everybody's made to work. When, when women were created, I mean, except if I'm reading my Bible upside down or something, but there it says that they were both made to be fruitful and multiply and, you know, fill the earth. So in your capacity, whatever talents, whatever, it's supposed to be able to, in the work of your hands, you're supposed to be able to create a, a, a value with what it is. And then when you come together as a team, whether in form of a relationship or in form of marriage, then it's even supposed to be combined efforts to be able to, 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 to make things even better, because I think the same Bible says uh, one will chase a thousand and, and two, two chase thousand. tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. So you're able to achieve more. So if you're going to, you know, tag a woman and you say a woman is made to collect, I find that a little bit, if not more insulting than anything. Because really, anybody but me, if you ask anybody, and that's why I'm agreeing with Mary, if you ask a guy, nobody wants to have to stress to do anything. But the truth of it is that we have to do something to be uh, uh, to, to create value and to get commensurate value in return. So if that is it, if I'm by myself, then I have to be able to do something to make a living. Okay. But if I'm in a relationship like I am now in a marriage relationship. And again, that's where I agree with um, Uti because you're saying that, uh, okay, we should start sharing roles, this and that. The, the man is supposed to take on the role of the head, which is a person that, look, that there's always a CEO in a company, for example, and there's like a CFO and a COO, whatever. But these are team members. That, but somebody is the one person who takes responsibility for everybody else. Hmm. So when you now make it look as if that we are now on a, a time a shadow or so, then it becomes transactional. Oh, and it's no, not ma. what it is. I get you. I get you. But see, don't overthink this it, thing. It I don't mind them so to tell me. That they are I'm collecting. No, 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 no. no. <clears throat> wait, Ooh, wait, I, I calm mean, down. Don't overthink it. You know, you, you're overthinking this thing. I'm Let me not, tell you something. I'm not, As I'm it not is, right? Now, even no. the way a woman is wired, she's wired to receive, right? It's not even a it's not even our, even our biologically. Brain, biologically. I receive you. things and Thank I multiply you. it inside and give you back. Thank right? you. So we're wired to receive. So me, I don't see any insults there. But so you know, let's go to a break. No, no, no. And we we'll come up from the way to Nama calm down. We'll come back. We'll come back. We'll come back from the break. We'll put our phone lines. I want to hear your thoughts. You know, would you agree with Norma? Do you agree with Mary? Do you agree with Uti? Me, I like soft life. It's okay. Everybody likes soft life. <laughs> All right, so thanks for staying with us. So if you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out, and we're discussing the topic, are women wired to collect and not work? 
according to one pastor. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 You can also tweet at us at Wisho Africa with the hashtag Wisho. Now, our phone line is now open. Um, the number to call is 0702500 That's the number to call. Remember to please turn off the device of whatever it is that you're watching us from then uh, so we can hear ourselves and we don't have a feedback. So, Norma, I want you to finish your thoughts before I come back into the studio to, to the ladies. So what I was trying to say is that where I have a challenge is the word collect. I don't think it's appropriate to, to, to label... Na, na but, English, I mean, na that's Norma. My, Collect. That's, that's I can right. change it to receive. It's all right. It's all. It's yeah. What do you call it? We are arguing semantics. Normal, please. Semantics. Normal, normal. You have a husband. Please. Do, does your husband not put, give you money in the house? Don't you? Does collect? your husband not pay the rent? Does your husband not pay the school fees? We are arguing semantics, normal. I think the 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 crux of the issue is lost. First and foremost, we all agree that we don't agree with everything that he has said. But this thing you are saying and the affront that you are finding in the statement. It's really not there. Do you understand? It's semantics. Because if you tell me that you have a husband and your husband can pay all these bills, you, you collect. Simple. Your you children's school fees are paid. You collect. You, you travel. You get money. You get collection. <laughs> so we're not arguing semantics. If you tell me that the fact that he says that women are not wired to work, I disagree. Right? We've moved away from those times. But when we come to the point where there is now an entitlement, which is really where we are now, where men think that they are assessing you not just based on who you are as a person, but what you bring to the table. I am and the I table. disagree. Thank you. I disagree. <laughs> Let's break the table. Let's not talk about the table. That's where I have a problem. So the truth of it is, there are strong women out there today. And there are women who are making serious, serious money. But let me tell you what happens when that woman now says, actually, you know, I have my money and my husband, I don't really need, need your money. Then we start to manage the fragile male ego. Mm. So you find that women that are working, women that have their own money, they still need to collect from their husbands so that their husband remembers to that manage, he's the head yes. of the house. To manage his ego. So name. I don't see anything in that it's statement to be upset about because the fact is we are managing egos. We are managing men who half the time you feel like, okay, I don't want to do this thing this way. But because you are the head, let's go. Hmm. But then when that head now decides that, you know, the neck must add to this journey. I disagree. I completely agree. I was going to say object. that in Delta State, for instance, mm -hmm. the very rude shock that I had when I moved to the university, my first year, I was in shock, like literally in shock. Mm. I saw women early morning like that, like 6 a.m., 5 a.m. They would enter their bicycles, they were yeah. going to the farm. Who were their husbands? The husbands were home. Do uh -huh. you understand? So, in that regard, where he says women are not wired to work, now, Layo, we see if if push comes to shove and we know we that this is what would require me to be able to feed my family, I'll do it. But if you are given a choice, Omo, I will sit in my house. I think if you know? given a choice, mm. both sexes, that's what you're saying, wants this soft life. Mm. But are women wired to collect and not work? I don't think so. It is nice to have. It's a choice. Mm. I have said, oh, okay, I don't want someone who is struggling because I'm, I'm, I've passed my teenage years, I'm in my late 20s, and I'm working, and I've been able to create a setting standard for myself, mm. which I wouldn't want to go below. Now, that's me. Another female now can come and say, oh, there's this high school boyfriend I've had, and we're moving together, as in, you know, in stages. We've gone to university, we're still in love, you know. Okay, now, today, is only this small thing he can buy for me. Okay, it's fine, let's grow together. That's your choice. Doesn't mean that that person doesn't want the soft life as well. If the girl had the choice, if the man blows tomorrow, she can decide, oh, you know what, I want to sit down, I don't want to work as well. But to say that we're wired to just collect and not work, I don't think so. Because if the man, too, given the opportunity, would decide, ah, okay, rich, rich sons that have fathers, are they, do they decide to work? Are they not men? They might well, the man you will follow? Might... <laughs> <laughs> what do I mean? If, if that man I will follow? So oh. a rich son who has not worked for his money and has his father's money, you will follow that man. Why won't I follow him? Oh, God. <laughs> or sorry. why can't I follow him? I have nothing to say. 
Why can't I follow him? No, I have nothing to say. It's, it's generational wealth now. Is it your money? Say what? Mm. Say what? So he did not work. He didn't do anything. You think the generational wealth reach your children? <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't. So, so, so the thing is, let, let me explain something. Mm. I don't know how to explain it. Explain it. There's a satisfaction that comes to every man that is able to see that, ah, this is my money working for me. You understand? Women are not wired that way to look at a man and say, this is my money. Wait, 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 yeah, but you look at oh, yourself. Oh, don't wait, nah. Calm down. It's, we're You're not, not working for the I'm man. I'm not talking about myself now. I'm talking about the man. Calm down. We are not, we are not going. I can look at my children and say, this is my money working. But uh, I'm telling you that the way a woman, the way a man is wired, he's wired to actually look at a woman and, a you know, provider. lavish, you know, spend and all of those things, right? Fine. So if a man is unable to do that, he feels incapacitated, right? Fine. So, Wait, now, maybe they go. We are going somewhere. Uh, I'm, so, I'm, what I'm saying to you that is, even if a man, you know, like you just said now, he has his father's money, as long as that money, he didn't earn it, he will still struggle with, what do you call it, identity crisis. As far as I'm concerned, a lot of them, that imposter syndrome, this is not my money. money the Do you know, it's, a, it's a principle. So, um, yes, I get you. That given, if given a choice, both sexes would not want to work as long as the money does not stop flowing. But you see, the, the frame of a man, I don't think he can just sit like that. Because a man is a provider mm. and that's his natural nature. Mm. I'm also of the belief that I don't think if a guy likes you, he wouldn't spend on you. Mm. It's, it's not even the reason why people would say, oh, um, some babes are gold diggers. And, and whatever, is because you're probably a married man who is sleeping with a single lady. And obviously, what else do you expect the girl? Is the girl supposed to be <laughs> trying to fall in love with you? Rather than, I think it's obviously transactional. No matter how much you want to mm -hmm. think about it, it's, it's going to be transactional. Mm -hmm. So that's different. And that's why they say, oh, babes, these days are gold diggers. I mean, you're a freaking married man. Most single guys are not going to say that. Mo and most single guys will just feel like, oh, the married men have raised the bar for us. But they are meeting up Raised to the bar, but they are putting you So you've pressure. clearly not encountered the married men whose wives don't see their money. Mm. You, you know, you're, you're looking at it in a very linear way. I'm looking at it in a very from linear my way. my own experience That's what I'm saying, that it's life, a very linear way. From my own yes. point of view. It's a very linear you know, way. And I'm not... And the, the topic, again, is <laughs> are women... <laughs> are women to wired to, to collect and not work. You are ignoring that we have addressed that. We have, have moved we? past that point. Have we, we have. Yes, now we've we said have. it that we've women, women that are point. not wired. Women work. Women, women work, get it yes. done. When women need to, we've mm. moved past that point. The point that we are on now is the woman herself and the type of man. You cannot, right? You gave a couple of circumstances. When secondary school, we fell in love. We come up together, it's fine. You'll be growing. It's like Basket Mountain is where if you, whatever, you, you get where you're going. Hallelujah. That's every, everybody's looking for that. But you as you are now, you're going to find a guy and he's now sitting with you and saying, okay, so we're going to rent a house mm, and the rent the money. is four million or two million or three million. So how much can you put down? Or this is the school fees. How much can you bring? Is that the conversation you want to have? If I'm extremely buoyant, I don't think it's a problem I, for you. I don't think it's a problem for me. I get you. Ah, Uti, take no, comments. I'm quiet. Not my fanga, let me come to you. It is where with us. <laughs> but, Nama, are you there? Are we losing Nama? Yes, I am. Go ahead. Okay. I'm, uh, you are well, lost? I, I, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I'm. The conversation is just, um, like I said, women are wholesome people. Women have capacity well, no, to work. Nobody's arguing that thing, though. Do you no, understand? No, see, we are not, you know, because I don't let think us you're be getting honest. the... Wait if, now, Norma. Let us be honest. I don't think you're Because now you are, you're taking offense in his choice of words because you are coming back to that wholesomeness and all of that. I need you to calm down mm. and listen to that conversation again, Right. I mean, if you, if you look at women, we are meant to be nurturers. If you give me an option today that I know that I wake up, I am not going to worry about any bill. 
You understand? Just sit down, look pretty, go to the gym, keep fit and all of that. I'll pick that choice any day, any time. And that's the point the guy is trying to make that before you even decide to say you want to date someone or you want to put someone in like a, 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 a permanent relationship, be it marriage or whatever, be, be sure to understand that they are wired like that. So that when the woman starts to ask for things or she's demanding some things, right, you do not give her names that are not hers. She's not a gold digger. Naturally, I like all the good things in life. Let me tell you why I work hard. I work hard because I don't want anybody to come and be looking at me when I'm buying something and they say, ah, where did you get that money from? Do you understand? Or I'm asking you for money. You're asking me to bring a list for you and give you to 10 explain. reasons why I need to buy what I need to buy. Right? I mean, I've had a friend of mine that said that she needed to buy a bra. A bra. And the husband asked her why she needed a bra. No problem. She started walking around with her, with her, with her chest, chest braless like that. Do you get my point? It, it can get that bad when you meet the wrong set of people. So that's why I'm saying that if we are taking away, if we keep on happing on some things, we'll take away the crux we'll lose the of the of message the that and the guy is trying to talk that's about. That's what I was trying to well, say. Well, I think we have Ilova from Abuja. Then I'll come back to you, Norma. Hi. Hello? Good evening. Go ahead, please. Hello? Go ahead, you're live. Okay. I want uh, listen. I, I say I want to I want to ask. I want to contribute to your program. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. So please we'll have to cut you off, sorry. Um, I've said it, when you call, please turn off the volume of whatever device it is that you're watching because once we get that feedback, it's actually difficult to concentrate. So, Norma, please, I apologize for interrupting you, but I don't want us to go back to that matter of, you know, your choice of, me, you know, taking an offense. Forget semantics and uh, whatever. Let us focus on the crux of what he said. If you were given a choice today, would you do anything that you're doing? Would you just sit down and, and relax and, you know, probably read book, go to school, do all those things, and somebody is taking care of your bills? Would you not pick that lifestyle any day, any time? Uh, well, well mm -hmm. uh, each of us have different things that sort of, uh, I mean, I, I like I said earlier, I agree with the fact that women are, women nurture, women, women. Sorry, no, sorry hold that thought. I think he's back again. He love her from Abuja. Okay. I'll come back to you, sorry. Go ahead. Hello, are you there? He love her. Okay, go ahead, Norma. Okay, not sure I'm going to finish this thought today. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the point being that I totally agree with what we, I have no ads and I was not arguing, I was not saying, I was in agreement with the fact that we all love to be taken care of, to be pampered, to, to you know, to know that we are cared for, really. And... Um, should be told as well that other that things that also make you have a sense of fulfillment. So some women can actually love to work, not work in the sense that you're working and you're suffering. There's a, a, you're working, you're doing something that you love to do. So you would do it, you know, ir, um, not in, in a situation that it is because of survival, uh, uh, um, uh, maybe. Yeah. issues or poverty or this i mean this is part of what gives you a sense of purpose in life yeah. so that was the perspective i was coming, coming from, from. Okay, that is not a case okay so uh, somebody else Joseph, come... yes from kaduna sorry yeah. go ahead joseph you're you. live hello go, yes go ahead please okay uh i'm enjoying your topic what the, my contribution is that when man when God created a woman to be a helpmate to the man, he knows that the man is not perfect. Mm. It, it, it's, it's not perfect. The man is not perfect. Wherever the man is, the man had some shortfall, the woman is to complement the the shortfall yeah. of the man. So for somebody to say that uh, the woman is uh, supposed to be uh, sitting at home and waiting for the man to provide. It is not. It, it is not completely right. 
Okay. They must you must complement where the man has some deficiency. The woman will cover that area. That is it. Okay. Thank you so much, Joseph, for calling. All right. So now go, go ahead yeah. and wrap up your thoughts. Yeah. So I think Joseph sort of capped what I was saying because when I even mentioned wholesomeness, I didn't mean it from the place of. Oh, that the woman loves to walk and then wants to be, uh, that doesn't want to. I meant it from the place that the woman has it all, so to speak, where the man, like he has rightly said, is insufficient. That's where the woman steps in because there are so many capacities that she can feel into naturally because that's who she is, mm. you know, and not because it is something that is forced or we have now come to a transaction that, okay, this is how much of yourself you should bring into a relationship or into our marriage. The woman is not in that, that, that's not the capacity that she can feel. She can feel much more. So even when she is receiving, she is still multiplying what she's receiving. Where she is working, she's working with the giftings, you know, 100% with the giftings and with the talents that she has. So she has probably a lot more than even a man can offer, Absolutely. you know. So she, I, I, she didn't I, come I with it. Uh, she didn't come with a missing rib. She came with complete ribs. So she's got everything. So so in whatever capacity that you want her to feel, she has it 100%. Absolutely. Let me take comments quickly, ladies. Okay. Good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying with hashtag ways. Are women wired to collect and not to work? I disagree with the clergyman because he does not know what he's saying. In a nutshell, he is trying to turn the women into lazy women and liabilities. Supposing a woman, uh, supposing a woman has a career to pursue, are you telling me that she shouldn't? I disagree with um, Unoma and agree with Uti. Collecting is not an insult and can never be. My dear beautiful sister, Uti said that it is okay to collect and work at the same time. It is the responsibility of the man to provide for the woman. But does that stop the woman from working? Women also should be regarded as breadwinners, not only men. Mm. Man and woman must work hand in hand. My name is Daniel Ulo, where's regular fan? Okay. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it felt like normal? he just contradicted himself in the whole thing. Um, uh, okay, well, so you can I will imagine. take this one. Good evening, my beautiful sisters. I don't believe in that man saying that women love to collect and not work. If this is so, why do some men stop their wives that are eager to work not to? Those women know the dignity of labor, but were still deprived the opportunity, though there, was, though there were some tribes in Nigeria that wired their daughters that way. But I don't want to mention them. You'll see them so complacent and don't really involve themselves seriously in either education or learning a trade or becoming artisans. So there should be no blanket judgment of women. That's from Mrs. Adeniji from Aja. Thank you. Okay, so Noma. All right, so I have this one, and it says, uh, there's no name here. Good evening, ladies. Concerning today's topic, I agree with Uwa. Women are not wired to work, but to receive. As for me, I like soft life, but when a woman needs to work, then it is fine. Also, some women do not work for money, but to fulfill their purpose Absolutely. in life. Absolutely. So I, I, I like the way that this last person capped the message. Mm. That a woman is working should not be that her life depends on it. You understand her life, mm. especially when they, there's a man in that picture. Mm. She's working only maybe to fulfill a dream or something, right? And guess what? I get that part of, you know, where a man falls short. The woman is supposed to just come in and, like, help you stabilize at that point. Mm. When you get back on your feet, you shouldn't be expecting that you go into a restaurant or you go somewhere, you're about to pay school fees, you now start... Uh, 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 um, saying, okay, you bring 50% of the fees and all of that. That's not how it's wired to be, right? If a woman comes in, and guess what? Women, they, they do it effortlessly without even you asking. Do you understand? Like if there is a problem, and even if it is hundreds of millions, and that is all they have in their account, they will bring out everything to make sure that, that the home is sorted. But when you now make it a, like a, a conversation, that's where me I have a problem with. Right? So, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the woman that you took her. What's in the news? But let's not argue again. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, Colette, Unama, don't be offended. Women are, they have, uh, they have asp aspirations and ambitions. Guess what? We would all fulfill all of those things. But if you leave me, I have said it before. I will say it again. I told you before. I told you again. So you're wired to not work. Right? Ah, no, no. I feel like I'm not wired. I'm wired, to, wired work to not work for passion. I work for impact. 
I work with what makes me happy. But not that I'm working to save my life and to feed. <laughs> so if someone is not married, what's the person supposed to do? I just lay down there and just wait for a man to come. That's a different program, Italian. We said women. We didn't even say wives. No. They talked about a man in relation. You cannot be relationship, relationship without that. the man the being in the picture. There has to be a man in the picture. Sorry. Okay, there has to be a man in, yes, the, picture. in the picture. In this so picture. a woman that is no, wild. No, I'm saying this picture we are talking about. There has to be a man. For single women, it's a different uh, kettle of fish. We will deal with that later. We will deal with it later. It's a simple okay context now? now. He said it from the perspective of a man. If a man is present in a woman's life, then mm -hmm. that is what it is. If there's if no man not, present, you want no... phantom man to take care of you. If, if the man is not present, it's a different ballgame. So you are, you are wired to work when you, are, when you are single. Yes, now. But when the man comes in, you off the wiredness to work. Ha. You see, no, 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 no. Oh, bye bye, okay. leave it. I like experience, is a wonderful teacher. Life will teach me, no, don't worry. Life will, no, be, bye. Life will be good to me, bye. No, life will Uti teach me. Mary. And Mary, thank you very much. Uti, Mary, don't start what you can do. Thank you. Be, thank you. Your they don't I said, Life will be good to me. Amen. That's what I said. Uh -uh. Amen, amen. Before we go, I show you follow us across <laughs> all our social media handles. That way, show Africa, you can interact with us, spread it, drop a comment, and more importantly, Follow all our engagements on social media, like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. Uh, every woman can take care of herself perfectly. She you hear her? But she still wants a man in her life who proves to her that he, um, she needs... Um, that she needs to be looked after and taken care of. She wants a man who can pamper her and bring back the innocence of a kid in her life. Oh my God. Lord, when? <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. <laughs>